Hello, Flint Nation. My name is James, checking in with team number 4391, the Brave Bots from Gladstone, Michigan, here at the First in Michigan District Championship. Brave Bots, currently one of the strongest robots in FIM. They've done it again this year. Great control system. You guys shoot coral. I mean, that's just awesome. Uh, so much to learn and to find out more here on Behind the Bumpers. I've got Colin, Logan, Matthew, and Peyton. Let's find out more on fun. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. All right, Matthew, why don't you start us off? Let's talk about some of the coral manipulation features on your wonderful robot. So I'll start off with our most important one is our shooter. It's a it goes back in, in, into our hopper. It sits on top of our wheel instead of like covering it. And we use it to shoot it down onto L2 and L3. And then for L4, we shoot it up onto um, the L4 pole. And so we have two, two Neos controlling it. One, one is for our, our wrist down there. And then one is for the actual shooter. It's belt driven for the shooter and straight and Neo for, for that one. And th this is very unique because we are able to make L4 super consistently while being able to shoot it on, which is a different take from multiple other teams. So tell me, Matthew, why? <laughs> I don't honestly really know. It was a crazy idea that during brainstorming, we we're like, well, we, we made a prototype to place it down onto from higher above and, and we literally said, let's try shooting it. So we just fl flipped it over and shot it from underneath and it worked really well. And so we just tuned it from there and that's our final product. I love it. Engineering at its finest. Yeah. Peyton, can you tell us a little bit more about some of the other features on this robot? I know you guys climb pretty consistently as well. Yeah, so um, over here in the back of our robot is our climber. Logan, if you can raise the hopper so I can show them. So when we go to climb, we raise our hopper just like this. And usually this climber will be pushed down right here. And then this little mechanism right here, we call it our foot. So the climber comes up, knocks this down, and this is where we latch on. It's kind of like a harpoon. And so we grab the, grab the cage right here and just pull it right down into our robot. This thing was designed because at first the cage would come up too high and it would hit our camera, which is a no-go. Our cameras are like our babies. So this. Our climber was actually one of the first things we started prototyping for our robot, which was completely different to last year. But it was just, it's, it's incredible. Our robot with this, with our algae intake, our robot actually like, the, our center of gravity is pretty much perfect. Like we we climb magnificently. And then if I can, I'll talk about our algae intake next. So our algae intake and our, and our climber both run off pneumatics. Do you want to bring that down? So this is how it works. It's just, it's kind of your standard algae intake. It's a ground intake and you just drive to the robot and it just sucks right up in there. We added this piece of plastic back here so that the algae would actually stay in our robot because we were having problems with it just falling out. But yeah, we for our first competition, we had the algae intake. Second competition, we took it off to save weight. And now here we are at States, added it back on and we actually have like two, sp two pounds to spare. So. That's pretty awesome. Impressive. So you mentioned cameras are your babies. I'd love to talk a little bit yes. more about uh, some cameras. Colin, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Hello, um, we have two cameras. This one up uh, down here, this is the camera we use for uh, pose detection. We use that to sense the April tags and that tells the robot where it is on the field. When we see April tags, we are able to uh, automatically score a shot. This one is for uh, alignment with the uh, reef poles. It gets us into position, so when we shoot it, we just it just falls right out. It's very accurate. It's helped us so much. And Logan, do you want to wrap us up with some of the other features from a control standpoint of your robot? Absolutely. Um, there actually is a number, another camera back here, and it help, really, it's really helpful from a driver standpoint. So when this is back here, we can watch this climbing. We can make sure we're all centered and stuff like that. Sometimes it lags, but it's usually pretty good. Um, we have an optical sensor down here. It can detect when a coral is loaded. It's very, very helpful. Um, I guess I can actually put one in. 
And when one's loaded, it starts flashing green when that we're loaded. And it will it will be a solid green when it sees an April tag and it's loaded. We have some uh, can range sensors down here to tell how far away from the reef we are. So if, it, if we're like 17 centimeters away, we know that we're perfect distance. We're right up right up next to the, the reef. We can also tell when we're rammed up to a coral that is in front of the reef. And we're actually able to shoot over that coral lodge, even at an L4 standpoint, and make the shot very consistently. It's, it's a really fun feature. It's really cool. That is awesome. Well, BraveBots, thank you so much for diving into your robot today on Behind the Bumpers. Really appreciate it. You guys are doing great here at the state championship. Best of luck the rest of that the time. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is James for Fun Robotics Network. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions.